now we shall see how to set up date picker so for that let's scroll up to the part where we have defined radio group so just below it i will set up one set on click listener on the edit text for date of birth so that whenever the edit text is clicked this date picker will pop up So instead of letting the user directly enter the date of birth, we will display calendar and let the user choose the date of birth from the date picker. Then coming inside it, we will use calendar. This calendar class in Java is an abstract class that provides methods for converting date between a specific instant in time and a set of calendar fields such as month, year, day. Then calendar.getInstance is used to get a calendar using the current time zone and locale of the system. So that means using the getInstance is going to get the current date and time of your system. Then from this calendar we need to extract the day, month and the year. So for them we are going to declare separate variables. And don't get confused with these two calendars. The calendar with the capital C is the abstract class that we have just talked about. And the calendar with small c is the instance that we have defined. So calendar with small c dot get. Then within bracket calendar with capital C dot day of month. And you can see the different methods or the different values that we can obtain from this calendar. In the same way, we will abstract month and year. Then we will define the date picker. So let's say picker equals new date picker dialog. And we will declare the date picker globally. So I'm not declaring it here, I'm just defining it. And then the context, the context is the current activity, that is the register activity. Then comma, new date picker dialog and just hit enter then on data set method will be created and here we have to pass the three variables that we have defined year month day so these are the parameters of date picker dialog first is the context second is the date picker dialog that is the on data set listener then the third is the year fourth is month and fifth is day then let's declare the picker globally. So date picker dialog space picker. And also we need to add this comma since all of these are the parameters for the date picker dialog. Then we need to set the edit text with the value that was selected in the date picker that is the date which was selected in the date picker. So we will use edit text register dob dot set text. Then within bracket we will write day of month that is the day which was selected in the date picker plus then we will use backslash within double quotes then plus month. plus one this is to take care of the index then again plus and backslash within double quotes and then plus year these three variables are different from the one that we have defined these three variables are the variables which are the parameters of the on data set method 
so these three variables will get the value from the date that we select in the date picker and these three dates will be set up in the edit text then finally we just have to show the date picker let me delete the data from the database and i will delete the user also since we don't have login page so we have to register again So clicking on the edit text is opening up the date picker but when we click on edit text for the first time it's not opening up because the edit text is getting the focus first and on the second click the date picker is popping up so we need to disable the focus so open the layout file for the register activity and scroll down to the edit text for date of birth Here we will have to use focusable property. And we will set it to false so that on the first click the date picker pops up. Let me complete the registration. Yeah, now it's working fine. Okay. Registration is successful. Now let's check in the database. And uh, now you can see the date of birth which was selected from the date picker. Now we have completed the register activity. We will start with the login activity now.